All right, so here is our Android Auto head unit. This one's from an older CRV. And the problem that I've been researching, the problem I had on this, was that all audio, microphone audio, comes to this little hole. And inside of that hole, there's a tiny little speaker here. You can see this little gold colored black, and then two pins, mono. So there's one side is plus, one side's a negative, and they're usually labeled on there. So we're going to remove this microphone. Um, the microphone is fine if you have your head six inches from the head unit, but that's not practical and not reasonable. So we're going to fix that problem. Now, some head units you can get into factory settings and then adjust microphone gain or sensitivity. Um, this is a 2023 unit. It says it's Android 13. I went into the system settings, entered the master password of 1234. That got me in there, but there's no microphone or audio settings. So I couldn't find anything else on this unit, any other master passwords that would get me into the um, master settings for microphone, because I know some units have additional master settings. Um, but again, I couldn't find it, so here we are. If you know of the master password, let me know um, for future sake. But for this instance, um, this is what we're going to do. So we are going to purchase a 2-pin, 3.5 millimeter, um, 3 point, yeah, 3.5 millimeter um, extension with just a ground and power, or plus, plus and minus. This is just mono, it's not stereo or anything with three pins. And we're going to disassemble our unit here. You can see on this unit it has the radio antenna, um, the GPS right here. Um, it does have the auxiliary, so it has an external mic support, but it doesn't work. I mean, it kind of works, but it's not any good. So we can't even use the external mic function because it's terrible. Reverse camera here, this does work. I tested this and it's fine. Here is our harness. Um, this says back, so on this specific unit, this wire gets uh, 12 volts, and that um, basically turns on the um, backup camera. So, um, then this is the harness specific to the vehicle. So, let's pause here. Alright, so in this unit, there are four screws here. That basically mount your um, vent assembly to the head unit. So this is a nine inch Android head unit. And then here you can kind of see, it's got these two, um, on each side it's got these two little um, protective um, pieces. I don't know what else you want to call them, but they just kind of snap in there and protect whatever is under them. Pop this one off. Okay, so here's what we're working on. So as you can see, this is the button panel and the microphone and reset um, area. It's got its own little circuit board here. And the circuit board is uh, has a little ribbon connector that's situated right there. So very easy, all we had to do was remove this ribbon. You push the black um, retaining tab um, this way, and then you can pull the, the circuit board out. And then for the speaker, we just desoldered it. As you can see, it was placed right here, so we desoldered it from the board. And then we put in the positive and negative, and this board is actually, you can see the marking. It's got the plus on the left side. So that is where our red lead is going to go through on our 3.5 millimeter extension. Uh, this is a little bent. Make sure it does not get crimped when we put it back in. 
take very good care make sure not none of the wires touch red or black they're not crossed or touching otherwise you'll get some shorting out and uh, static and some other problems with the audio these are very close so I might separate those a little bit um, and that's it I had to cut the top part of the um, this thing just so the wire would fit through on the top side there and it'll pinch it just a little bit but that's fine and then that's it so once you get this all back together you know your microphone um, is not going to go to the external harness it's going to go right to here and then it's the same as if you mount it you know on the, the sun visor or the headliner up near the windshield but you're just going to use this one instead now like i said i've tried um, the microphone on here the original one and it's fine six inches away I tried the external microphone plugged in here um, it still seemed to pick up audio from this microphone and it didn't really pick it up from here I don't know why and then I've tried a microphone on here the remote mount plus the external didn't really seem any benefits so we just defaulted to the factory uh, microphone that came with it, the external microphone, and then this um, extension lead. So we plugged in the external mic, which was supposed to get plugged into here, into our new outfit. And then we just removed our factory uh, tiny, tiny microphone right there, no longer being used. It's too bad I couldn't find any type of adjustment. Um, I know some older units, you obviously couldn't increase the gain, which helped a bit. I've also seen people speaking of how they replaced it like this, this way, and that solved the problem. Um, night and day, clear. Um, Google and Siri can now actually hear you when you're speaking through the microphone that's on the sun visor or the dashboard, the windshield, before you really had to yell for it to pick it up through the internal microphone. So hopefully this helps a lot of people. Um, this should apply to any Android unit because they all use the same type of microphone like this, the very small one. So if you can't get into your factory settings or just it's not there like the case was on this one, this is a perfect alternative to get your microphone working. And uh, people can hear you. It's not going to be as crystal clear as talking on the phone, obviously, but... Um, engine noise, blower speed, air conditioning, heating noise. You could still hear through it and understand the person and um, just very, very much improved. And easy to get on Amazon for like four bucks a piece or something crazy. So hopefully um, you know, if this helped. Let me know if you have any further questions on it. Let me know as well. And if you know any master passwords for this specific unit, Android 13, let me know as well. I'd like to give it a shot. Take care.